Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Ninjago video here on the channel. My name is Tanner Fishies. In today's video, we are going to be discussing some new Ninjago Dragons Rising information coming at us from Ninjago series head writer Doc Wyatt. Now, even though Ninjago Dragons Rising is only a few short days away at this point, some Ninjago fans still have a lot of questions. Myself included, I totally understand. One Ninjago fan took to Twitter to ask Doc Wyatt the following question. Is there a reason as to why the realms are merging with Ninjago specifically? Is there something special about Ninjago? Doc Wyatt responds with, there's a reason, but you're not getting it from me. Hashtag no spoilers. Totally understandable that Doc Wyatt doesn't want to reveal this information just yet, but this does reveal that Ninjago does have a special property about it, and that's why the realms are fusing with Ninjago. In the case of the merge, I think it's a fair question. The realms could have merged with any particular realm. Why Ninjago? Ninjago specifically? Well, obviously from a storytelling perspective, Ninjago is the main realm, right? Ninjago is the realm that we've been following the entire time, so it makes the most amount of sense. However, Doc Wyatt suggests that there is an in-universe reason as to why this has occurred, and in my opinion, I believe it has something to do with the balance. We know that Ninjago's balance has always been sort of skewed in one direction, but following the end of Ninjago Crystallized and the defeat of the Overlord, the balance is more or less balanced for the first First time in years. It's hard to say if other realms follow the same rules of Ninjago's balance, but we know that in the case of something like the Cursed Realm, the Departed Realm, or even maybe the Realm of Madness, the balance is skewed in the favor of darkness. With something like the Cloud Kingdom, you could argue that the balance is shifted towards the light side. And with the balance of Ninjago being more or less perfect for the first time in years, maybe this is the best and the most stable place for all of the realms to eventually merge. That wouldn't really explain why the merge has happened though, that much is still up in the air, but it would explain why Ninjago was chosen as ground zero for the merge. Again, why did the merge happen? How did the merge happen? That much remains a mystery, but maybe that's why Ninjago was chosen to be the center of the merge. At least that's what my theory is right now. I've seen other folks suggest that maybe it could be the fact that Ninjago is canonically the center of the entire universe, and that would make sense as well. I think there's a lot of explanations, and thankfully the Ninjago TV series will eventually answer this question. But of course, like I said, Ninjago Dragons Rising is only a few short days out, so eventually this question will be answered, but until it does get answered, feel free to drop all of your thoughts and theories down below in the comment section. Why do you think Ninjago was chosen to be the center of the merge? Let me know down below, and of course, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. That'll pretty much wrap it up for my thoughts here. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed today's video, feel free to like and subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I will talk to you guys again very, very soon. Peace.